I got to just ask right now. Ladies, Trina and Kiana, what's going on on your side of the studio? Hey, girl, we're over here planning a party. Now, Memorial Day is the official kickoff to summer, and that means summer is the time for good parties. Our next guest is here to give us tips on throwing the perfect summer soiree. Please welcome event planner, celebrity event planner, Miss Courtney Agensa. Hi, Hi, how are you? <laughs> now listen, it looks like you've chosen a tropical theme to your planning here. So talk to me about like, what is your signature when it comes to your planning? My signature when it comes to my planning is providing a complete transformation for the client okay. with lighting, fabrics, and like this, I add a special customization for each guest of the party. Okay, hey, Quad. Um, Get your name tag. Okay. That says Quad, and then we have yours up ahead, Kiana, on that plate. Um, and so I just like to provide a custom touch for each event mm -hmm. to provide the client something to take home. Mm. Okay, so tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get involved in event planning? I just... When I was younger, I used to throw parties for family and friends, and then when I got older, I just tried to make it into something that I really enjoy doing, and I, it doesn't feel like work for me. Okay, so let's talk uh, table themes and settings. So I see you have an amazing um, situation going on here. Thank now, what you. is this? This is your menu? Yeah, these are custom acrylic menu cards, and I customize them for each event. Um, this is like a floral setting to mimic the Hawaiian flowers that were imported for this arrangement. And then these flowers are imported from Hawaii. Girl, that sounds expensive. Yeah. Very. <laughs> a little bit. Right. Okay, so, so when when a person comes to you and they say, "Hey, I'm planning a party. I may be planning a party soon." Okay. So tell me, how do you get into their like decorations, their mind? What is the first step for that? When I meet with a client, I just kind of feel their vibe and see like what their likes are, what their dislikes are, mm -hmm. and then I just take it from there. They'll tell me what they want, and I just kind of let my imagination run free. I go to the venue, I see how colors can play into it, how lighting and flowers, and then we just all put it together for the perfect event. Now, would this be an outdoor event, or is this an indoor event? Because this is a lot going on here, ma'am. <laughs> this could be an outdoor event. I picture it like by the pool or over, looking mm -hmm. over the ocean, like a little tropical yes, setting. Ocean, yes, yes, okay. Nice. Everybody yes. wants to go out of town for Memorial Day, so we can have like a little exotic locale. Well, that's that's a great time to spend time with your family. Absolutely. So we know that you're a mommy. Yes. So how would you inspire us to plan a tablescape or a party for children? Mm -hmm. When I'm planning a kid's party, I always like to ask the kid, what do you like? What kind of birthday party do you like? They'll say Paw Patrol or <laughs> Spider-Man. I just try to take it from there. I do like nice balloonscapes instead of flowers um, and how to try to have custom treat bags mm -hmm. for each guest. What are some of the tips that you can give our um, viewers on planning a party and entertaining tips? Um, I would say just always be different. Always mm. add your own special touch and try to do different things that people haven't seen before. Okay. Furniture, for, floral. Yes. For furniture, I like to bring in special luxury items like this table. Um, I would bring in specialty chairs and always have a custom floral arrangement. Did for, you make this yourself or did you purchase it? This is a rental. This is a rental. Yes. Okay. okay. Nice. Okay. So listen, I want you to break down this for me. So this menu, you have the tablecloth. Like I was actually, I know you want to be hired. I get it. <laughs> but if I was going to do it myself for the ladies at home, like I can't afford her, how would I do this? You would... What is this and where do you get it from? Um, this is a custom menu card. You would go to, to somewhere like Oda Creative okay. and get your custom menu cards. They also do the custom acrylic touches for this. Okay. Um, these are all rental items that you could rent from a rental company. Um, and then these are just special things that you just find online. Like you can go on Amazon and type in what you, whatever you want to find and find whatever you need. So the word on the street is that you do celebrity parties. I do. So you just did Rashida yes. Frost, Boss Chick, yes, uh, her grand love opening in, uh, of press in Houston. Yes. So what was that like? How did you um, get in her head? And well, tell us about the event, because we wonder. <laughs> <laughs> the event was really special. Um, she wanted to have a grand opening event for her Houston store. Um, and so I just caught... God, I just called her on the phone, mm -hmm. and I got her favorite color. She liked whites and gold, so I created, like, a custom white flower wall for mm -hmm. her with the custom P surrounded by purple flowers. And we just did a total transformation of her store. We had, like, a custom vinyl flooring. We had custom flower walls, and we had just That's a good. custom mm -hmm. cake pops to just to make the event work oh, well nice. for the guests. Well, that were a lot of celebrities, they like to do white parties. Come on, white parties. Yes. So tell us some of the things that we can do to do a great white party mm -hmm. for the season. I would say, do your white party, but add it with a, a touch of color. Tell everyone that they can come, say, wear white and pink or white and purple. Just add a touch of color mm -mm. for your custom. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody show up and start being white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> be all white party, right. All white, right. Yes. All white. but you can do custom white centerpieces, all white. You can just customize it from the top to the bottom, custom white napkins and... You just want to make maybe a touch of gold. Girls, I would be so petty. I'll, I'll tell everybody to come in white and Nigga, then I show up in the color. White, white. white. <laughs> so 
what are the current trends that you're seeing happening now with the white party? So it's a big thing now. It's, it's always thing. been, especially always, with good every black year. people. Every right. year. Yes. Every year. So what are the trends? For white parties, I see neon signs a lot. Those really? are yeah. So really? you can have like a custom neon sign with like maybe the person's logo and you'll have a custom backdrop with the logo on there and a neon sign and it really makes the event pop. Well, you know what? I think someone is watching our show has learned something today. I know I did. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. I Pop of say, color for the white party. Absolutely. Yes. I want to say thank you so much for coming down to the circle. You're always welcome. For And we appreciate all your creativity today. Thank you so yes. much. And up next, we hear from what you have to say. People what, let us know. Absolutely. Let us know. And what the people say. Come back. What the people have to say. <laughs> so this is...